Hi, in this video I will talk about the fuzzy select tool which allows us to select a contiguous region on basis of color and to demonstrate this I have created a couple of rectangles and a circle filled with a gradient so basically with this tool we can select similar colors and for example instead of going and uh, trying to select this uh, red rectangle with the rectangular select tool I can just grab the fuzzy select tool click here and select the rectangle really quickly so let's start discussing the options found in the two options over here the modes I have already talked about in the previous videos still I'm going to say a few words about them the first one is the default mode replace the current selection so we have a selection here and if I click to make another one I'm going to replace the previous selection with a new selection. If I want to add to the current selection, I'll select the next mode. Click here and now I have selected both these areas. The next mode is to subtract from current selection. If I click here, I'm going to subtract this selection. And the next mode is intersection. Before I can demonstrate this, I'm going to click the add to current selection mode and add a few more areas here then go to intersection and if I click here you'll see that I'll end up only with this area selected so in this mode what you're left with is the uh, selection or the area where the two selection intersect the previous selection and the new one I'm going to click over here to reset the two options and the next option is anti-aliasing this is on by default and gives you smooth edges if you turn this off you're going to get hard and sometimes jagged edges I'm going to demonstrate this on this circle over here I'm going to click and go to the edit menu fill with foreground color which is black uh, the keyboard shortcut is control comma let's click this I'm going to zoom in and you can see that we have the smooth transition this is because the anti-aliasing option is on I'm going to control Z to undo this turn this off and make another selection then control comma to fill with the black color zoom in and now you see we have these hard jagged edges zoom out control Z to undo these I'm going to reset the options again using this option over here and let's see what the feather edges option does I'm going to click on it and by default is set to 10 pixels and if I click over here make a selection and again fill with black color I'm going to press ctrl shift a to deselect zoom in and you see that now we have a smooth transition between the black color and the rest of the image so basically by feathering the edges of the selection you are applying the effect on the edges of the selection only partially and this can be very useful in some cases I personally don't use this option from here I use it from the select feather option and from the radius you can uh, control how much is the feathering you can make it less or a lot let's reset the options again by clicking on this option and the next option is select transparent areas and to demonstrate this one I'm going to right click on the layer here and choose add alpha channel then I'll grab the eraser tool and just erase some of the image here then go back to the fuzzy select tool and by default this option is active so if we click here we will be able to select transparent areas but uh, notice that this works only on fully transparent areas not on uh, semi-transparent pixels where there is some color so if I turn this off I won't be able to select fully transparent areas let's select it again the next option is sample merged and to demonstrate this I'm going to create a new layer from this option just click OK and with this layer selected I want to create another red rectangle grab this tool click and drag like this click over here select this red color click OK then go to the edit menu 
fill with foreground color, then select none. Now I'll go back to the fuzzy select tool and the sample merged option is off by default so if I click here I'm going to select only this red rectangle which is on this layer but if I activate this option and click over here I'm going to select both of them so the sample merged option allows you to make a selection based on all of the visible layers not just the current layer I'm going to delete this layer by using this option Control shift a to deselect now it's time for the probably most important option here in the two options and it's the threshold which controls the maximum color difference and if I go ahead and click here you'll see that I'm able to select only this area but if I increase the threshold click over here again now I'm selecting a larger portion of this rectangle this is because by increasing the threshold I am able to select uh, colors which are not that similar and if I continue increasing you'll see that I'll select the entire image I'm going to go back a little bit go up some more and you see I managed to select the entire rectangle which we have with the blue and the green color and colors in between so this option gives you a lot of control over your selections and the fuzzy select tool is actually one of my favorite select tools it can give a very good results, especially if you combine it with some of the select options here, like Feather, Shrink, Grow. I have used it in many of my photo editing tutorials. And actually, I was going to give an example here of how we can replace the white background on this image with uh, black, for example, using the Fuzzy Select tool and some of these options. But I'm going to leave this for the next video, where I will we'll cover the Select by Color tool. And that's it for this one, I hope that it was useful, if it was, leave me a comment, like the video, if you're new to my channel, visit it, subscribe for more, and that's it for this one, bye.